Hi, this is Todd with HVAC Parts and More. Today I'm going to be showing you how to remove an inducer motor on a G40. The first thing you want to do is remove the flue. We've already taken the screws out of it. After you have your flue disconnected, disconnect the power to the inducer motor. Remove the power to the pressure switches. Then you want to remove the four quarter inch screws holding the inducer motor in. After removing the screws, the whole assembly comes out. You'll see that the gasket will start to decay. What you want to do is clean this gasket off of the back of the collector box. After cleaning the gasket on the collector box, um, you want to find a nice flat surface to do the rest of the work on the inducer motor. But this is the new inducer motor. It comes with two gaskets, a wiring harness, and a new vacuum line. The first thing you're going to want to do is remove the flue collar from the inducer motor which is quarter inch screws. Sometimes the flue collar can be tough to get off. You just pop it off. Um, you might take the back of a screwdriver to tap it loose. After you got the flue collar removed, there is tabs. You want to bend them back with a flathead screwdriver. Try not to break them off. After you have the tabs removed back, disconnect the vacuum line and pull the inducer off of the pressure switch mount. What you're going to want to do now is clean the gasket off of the mount. After removing the inducer motor gasket, you want to install the new gasket. There's a center tab that will fit through the hole. Install your new inducer motor. You want to fold those tabs back over. Then you want to take your flue collar. Reconnect the corner and screws. Then you're going to take your wiring harness. It comes with a plug, it just plugs in. Then your new vacuum line. Then you're going to get your gasket and your inducer assembly and reinstall it into the furnace. What you want to do next is line up the gasket for the back of the inducer motor. You want to try to get the four holes lined up. And this might take a couple of attempts to keep everything lined up. Take your inducer motor. Hold it in place. Then reconnect your quarter inch. Then you want to reconnect the power to the inducer motor. You want to take the black wire to the black wire, the white wire to the white wire. Then reconnect your pressure switch. You want to kind of take your high voltage to the inducer motor and put it in the back to where it's not touching anything hot. Reconnect the flue. Reinstall your quarter inch screws. This part can be found at HVACPartsandMore.com.